Greetings, my name is Brianna Hill, and I'm the CEO and founder of B Hill Artistry Incorporated. Um, a little background about myself is, um, I am a figurative painter, been painting internationally and showcasing my artwork internationally since 2011. Um, I started my art education foundation in 2016, which actually deprived from research done the research was actually done um, for my master's degree um, as an international comparative analysis. The international comparative analysis was comparing and contrasting art practices between schools in Jamaica West Indies and schools in America, particularly in the New York City area. Um, with the research found, I have no acknowledged the fact that there are a lack of art education worldwide. However, here in America, we have advocated enough funds to actually keep it into our public school systems, and it was more taught due to a state mandation. Internationally, in Jamaica, West Indies, it was actually taught not because the state mandated, mandated it, but it was more so a part of their cultural, to preserve their culture as Jamaican, African, and diaspora. So with this research, I actually continued um, not only with the practices that I've seen and the lack of art materials that I've seen in a few of the schools in Jamaica, I've actually advocated to create um, a foundation out of this um, observation. So what I did was, I actually um, began to uh, raise money by myself, particularly through GoFundMe. And I've um, so far did five schools throughout the island of Jamaica West Indies thus far. Um, in 2018, I've successfully completed three workshops, um, again, through collecting money through GoFundMe in New Orleans, Louisiana, and community centers. And I made it my business to take art education with B. Hill internationally to, well, again, internationally, <laughs> this time in another continent, to Ghana, West Africa. So that's all right, that's gonna be it for the first graders. Now we're gonna go over to the third graders. No, second graders, excuse me. So second graders, I need 30 sheets of black construction paper. Challenges that came up was not raising at least 50% of the money that we actually ha uh, made a goal to actually raise to provide transportation to and from our place of stay to the school and also the art supplies that we wanted. Um, our goal was about 350 students, um, so we wanted to make sure that students had enough art supplies to actually not only uh, practice and execute, but also for students to actually take home. <sighs> All right, guys, so we just converted the money. Uh, we have about 3,000 CDs um, after the expenses of the Airbnb and everything of that nature and transportation, but we have about 3,000 left in cash. Um, and that is all we have left from the donation money. What I'm going to do for the rest of the money is about 200 US dollars. I'm just gonna go out of my pocket and actually spend that myself. So, I thank everyone who actually donated. Um, without your donation, we would not have the 3,000 CDs to purchase the article for every single student. It's going to get what they deserve, even if I have to come out of my pocket. Art Education with B Hill Project, excuse me, Mission 4, Project Ghana, let's do it. Here's the stress. So as I explained inside of the shop of acrylics, um, we only had 3,000 CDs in cash um, and the remaining balance was about 1,000 CDs, 1,100, 191, and 65 pesos. That's about $200 in American money that we were short of from the fundraising. So now what we have to do is we can keep walking. the kids get every single thing that we have the inventory list for all of the lessons so we're looking for an atm hopefully by city national city national bank is the one of the largest black owned banks in america that i bank with and 
in my corporationist bank with as well. And my card got declined inside of this art shop because of international difficulties. So now we're looking for an ATM to take out the rest of the remaining money for the art supplies. Stay tuned. Okay, so we finally, finally, finally got through. Um, thank God to my mom. My mom actually had to call my bank for me because it was an issue with my bank back at home, City National Bank, um, but they're going through some difficulties as well being transferred over to another bank. Nevertheless, um, I was able to use my card here in Ghana to actually pay for the rest of all of the art supplies. Um, so the owner, Rena, thank God to her, she's gonna wrap everything up. We're gonna come here maybe Saturday morning or Friday evening to get all of the boxes of art supplies that we just purchased. And then we're gonna take it up to Kumasi um, to teach those students. So we have some over 60 pieces of clay for the fifth, fourth, and fifth, fourth and fifth graders that are going to sculpture units. We have watercolor sets. We have um, construction paper for uh, collage uh, making. We have the charcoal for um, observational drawing, studying value. So those students are going to be fulfilled in all types of art pedagogy. And I can't wait to fulfill Art Education with Be Hill Project 4. Excuse me, I keep saying Project 4. <laughs> Project Ghana, Mission 4. Let's do it. This is um, This is the day we are traveling to Kumasi, which is Sunday, January 4th, 2020. I don't even know how to describe the level of frustration that I'm enduring. Um, we are about two hours into our trip. Maybe three hours into our trip. I think we have about two, three hours left. Um, first thing I did when I got on this bus was cry. The amount of bargaining. I was told that the bus would be 45 CDs, it was 50 CDs, and they charged me an extra 60 CDs because of the amount of luggage and boxes that I had, which is the art supplies for the students. So, I'm currently, I think I have like 100 CDs left. I have a hundred dollar bill left of a US dollar that no one seems to want because it is slightly ripped at the bottom. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't have an opportunity to go to the ATM and I'm not sure if the ATM with Kumasi is going to work. So, yeah. We just have to remain steadfast. I to keep my eye on the goal of me really just simply coming to Kumasi to teach. I wanted to have extra money to go on tours. There was a huge miscommunication because I was supposed to start teaching tomorrow. Apparently the students don't come back to school from their holiday break until Wednesday. So we have two days of God knows what to do. My wedding plans got canceled because of financial executive decision making for the financial causes for all the setbacks that we've had. This is the reason why we expressed the amount of donations that are needed and it was still like pulling teeth to get people to donate. Um, I need to plan better when it comes to grant writing. I need grants. But so hard to do that when I work 10 hour days and I don't want to teach at another school. I don't. I want this to be my life. I want to be able to write grants and have thousands of dollars. I want to run myself as a whole. I'm just beyond stress, but I'm grateful that I'm one of us. I'm grateful that I made it this far in my journey. And yeah, so this is the route to Kumasi. Thank you to every single person that donated. Thank you. Great risings. So this is 
the morning is about 6 10 a.m day one of me teaching so i've consolidated the lessons um, i was supposed to teach at least two three classes a day but since there was some big miscommunication i'm consolidating nine classes in two days so today i am going to be teaching about six classes hopefully um or four classes rather four classes um so this is january 8th 2020 and it's about 6 10 a.m in kumasi as you guys can see the sun hasn't, hasn't even rised but yeah time to get dressed i get to meet the kids today who knows the shape of a We basically started the lesson um, learning primary and secondary colors, what two primary colors create the secondary color in each of the three categories. And also, we I created this in grad school. Um, it is called Color Theory Hopscotch. That was another challenge. However, it was so successful to see students to actually, um, as a form of summative assessment, um, to... Uh, practice their understanding of primary and secondary colors through the hopscotch game that I actually invented. So day one is completed. It was a great experience. We combined it some classes. So we had preschool and first preschool and kindergarten together. They did some um, watercolor painting, basic color theory understanding. Then day two, uh, excuse me, then class two, not day two. Class two was just a combination of um, first, second, and I believe a little bit of third graders. And we did some oil pastel smudging, um, understanding night and day concepts um, with color theory. So here we are in the area where Diamond State is located. And it was amazing. Like how they actually welcomed us. I was crying like a baby. Like talk about being treated like royalty. All praises due to the most high. My older students, they were approximately 
uh, I would say nine to 12 years old. I think I had one possible 13 year old that showed up to school that day. Um, and it was such an amazing experience. They were a little bit more advanced. Um, so we took a, a step back from color theory and we actually went on to a value, understanding lightness and dark, darkness of three dimensionality and how to portray that on a piece of paper. Your eyes on me. Cool? Give me a thumbs up if you understand. Give me a thumbs up if you understand. Good. Nice. Alright, so when you hear those claps, you clap, you put all your pencils down, your charcoals down, and then you put your eyes on me. Thumbs up if you understand? Cool. Alright, so what we're going to learn today is um the basics of drawing. How many of you have ever drawn before? Or if you like drawing? You like drawing? He likes to draw. You like to draw? Okay, you can put your hands back down. So drawing is one of the most basic things of art, all right? So we're going to be doing a bunch of different steps of drawing. One of them is going to, the final one is going to be something called observational, okay? So that's a big word, all right? So I'm going to write it on the board so that you can actually see it. So observational looks like this. So say observational. Observational. All right, so that means you are going to be drawing from what you see, okay? So what is observational? Raise your hand and tell me, someone. What does observational mean? Yes. Exactly. So you all have these small little three-dimensional objects in front of you. So we're going to get an opportunity to learn how to draw them, and then we're going to draw them, okay? All right, awesome. So, the first thing that the first term that we're going to learn is a word called value. Say value. Value. So value is an art term. Okay. So there's a bunch of different art. Books. So it was such an amazing um, opportunity to um, not only share my 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 talents and share my knowledge and my education um, with you know, um, uh, young children that look just like me, share the same DNA as me, and actually share a part of the education that I've actually um, learned throughout my years of art school. Shout outs to my amazing partner, Azazel Zahir. He was my classroom assistant throughout the entire, all lessons. Every single lesson down to classroom preparation, material preparation, material distribution. We distributed art supplies to every single student that came. Um, he actually were he actually was illustrating certain things as as a part of my demonstration. 